Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see a problem on type 2 of non-homogeneous differential equation. A problem is solve y double dash plus 9y equal to cos 2x into cos x. Solution. So you can see that the given differential equation is of non-homogeneous differential equation. So the above equation we can rewrite it add as so, y double dash can be written as d square y plus 9y will be as it is. So, cos of 2x into cos of x. So, the left hand side will get a complementary function. Right hand side will get a particular integral. So, first we will go for the left hand side. So, take y common. So, it will become d square plus 9 of y equal to cos of 2x into cos of x. So, if you write a auxiliary equation, so auxiliary equation is, so it will become m square plus 9 equal to 0. So this is m square plus 9. So from this we are going to get a root. So therefore, so how to get a root? So m square is equal to minus 9 or m is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 9 or we can say that, so m is equal to plus or minus minus of root will be i and root of 9 will be 3. So, this is a root of the given auxiliary equation. So, we got uh, two roots with plus sign with minus sign. So, because it is uh, d square or m square, so two roots will get. But the given root is a complex root but a real part is missing here. So, therefore, the complementary function is that is yc is equal to real part is missing means leave it so it will become c1 cos of 3x plus c2 sine of 3x so this is a complementary function we got it now so with the help of this complementary function now we'll go for what here a uh, uh, particular integral so that we can conclude for what here general solution so now now so in the given question so, the value of phi of x is cos of 2x into cos of x. So, but uh, the type 2 belongs to purely either cos of angle or sine of angle. But here multiple of uh, cos 2 functions are there. So, for this we go for cos a plus cos b formula. So, as you know that, so cos a and cos, cos of a into cos of b formula is given by 1 by 2 times. 1 by 2 times cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So, remember this formula. So, cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So, therefore, therefore the same thing will apply here for cos of 2x into cos of x. So, a value is 2x and b value is x. So, it will become 1 by 2 times cos of 2x minus x that is a, a minus b so 2x minus x is cos x plus so 2x plus x will become out here cos of 3x so this is the phi of x so therefore so while preparing for the pi we have to be careful we have to use this one now so therefore so it will be so yp is equal to phi of x divided by f of d square so which is nothing but phi of x which is nothing but I will write here so yp is equal to yp is equal to so phi of x value is what we got the, this one so actually cos 2x into uh, cos x but uh, expansion we got this one so I will take this one only so it is 1 by 2 times cos of x plus cos of 3x divided by the value of f of d square that is nothing but the coefficient what we got here that is d square plus 9. So, that one we will take d square plus 9. So, on simply this 1 by 2 you keep outside. So, which will become 1 by 2 times. So, 2 term divided by this completely 1 term. So, therefore, cos of x divided by d square plus 9 this plus sign 
cos of 3x divided by d square plus 9. So, how to simplify this and to get a yp we will see now. Now, I will give this as equation number 1 and this uh, first cos of x divided by d square plus 9 I will say it is first particular integral and this cos of 3x divided by d square plus 9 I will, I will say it is second particular integral. So, we will find separately p1 and then we will find separately p2 then we will add in the equation 1. So, therefore, now p1 is equal to cos of x divided by d square plus 9. So, what uh, we have to do here? So, coefficient of x is 1. So, value of a is 1. So, here what happens? So, a value is 1. So, therefore, therefore, replace d square is equal to minus times a square. That is minus times a square. A value is 1. That is 1 square. So, minus 1. So, replace d square is equal to what here? Minus 1 now. So, therefore, the above expression will become. So, p1 is equal to cos of x divided by minus 1 plus 9. So, d square is equal to minus 1. So, do not replace minus 1 square again here. So, d square value is what here? Minus 1. So, in place of d square, I have taken minus 1 plus 9 as it is. So, therefore, so it will become cos of x divided by minus 1 plus 9 will become 8. So, we got p1 answer now. So, now we will go for the p2. So, this p2 is what here? Cos of 3x uh, divided by d square plus 9. So, on simplification of p2. So, p2 is equal to cos of 3x divided by d square plus 9. So, here the value of a, the coefficient of x value of a is 3. So, therefore, replace replace d square is equal to minus times a square which is nothing but minus times a value is 3 so square it so therefore minus 3 square is 9 so replace d square is equal to minus 9 so therefore p2 is equal to cos of 3x divided by so d square will be replaced by minus 9 so minus 9 plus 9 so which is nothing but i can say that denominator is becoming 0 so, if denominator becoming 0, we have to differentiate the previous denominator. So, therefore, and we have to multiply x also. So, therefore, so p2 is equal to, we. if you are differentiating the denominator one time, so multiply 1x, if it is with respect to x, you have to multiply x into cos of 3x divided by differentiation of d square plus 9 is 2d plus 0 leave it so 2 times d it is so which is nothing but x upon 2 keep as it is this 1 upon 2 i have taken this x also so 1 upon d 1 upon d of cos of 3x so we should not differentiate this we have to means uh, means we should not take this inside here only because we have multiplied so x upon 2 keep as it is so, this 1 upon d times cos 3x, but 1 upon d is nothing but, so 1 upon d is nothing but integration, okay, in the introduction we have seen. So, 1 upon d is 1 time integration, 1 upon d square is 2 times uh, integration, that is double integration, 1 upon d cube is nothing but triple integration. So, here we got 1 upon d, so 1 time integration of cos of, what here, 3x into dx, which is nothing but, x by 2 so integration of cos of 3x okay with respect to x is nothing but sin of 3x upon 3 sin of 3x upon 3 so therefore so the p2 value will be x into sin of 3x so now you can see the denominator free from d so therefore x into sin 3x divided by 3 to the 6 here. So, we got the value of P2. So, P1 value we got as what here? Cos of x upon 8 and P2 value we got it as what here? x sin 3x upon 6. These both P1 and P2 we have to apply in 1. So, on substituting 
on substituting p1 and p2 values in 1. So therefore, yp will become, already we have 1 by 2, be careful. So 1 by 2 outside only. So p1 answer is cos of x divided by 8 plus p2 value is x sin 3x upon 6. So push this 1 by 2 to inside. So it will become 1 by 1 by 2 into cos of cos x upon 8 is 8 to the 16. So it will become cos of x divided by 16 plus x sin 3x divided by 6 to the 12. So therefore yp value will be so yp value is finally what got we here. So yp is nothing but cos of x upon 16 plus x sin 3x upon 12. So this is our yp. So we have to go for the general solution now. Therefore the general solution is the general solution is that is y is equal to yc plus yp. So therefore the value of y which is the yc. So yc value we got it as it is already we got answer as c1 cos of 3x plus c2 sin of 3x plus yp value what we got cos x upon 16 plus x sin of 3x upon 12. So this is a required general solution of the given differential equation which one is non-homogeneous using type 2.